Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be explaining why stents are used. The first thing I need you to understand is that glucose and oxygen is required by your heart. It's required by all your cells. Why? Your cells need to respire, so it needs glucose and oxygen. That is carried by the blood. Now, unfortunately, what happens is there is a certain disease, cardiovascular disease, called CHD or coronary heart disease. And basically, the coronaries are responsible for transporting glucose and oxygen to your heart, okay? Carries the blood that, that has that nutrients inside. However, what happens is, if, I am showing you here, if your coronaries are full of atherosclerotic plaques or fat plaques, it's really difficult for that blood to flow and get to your heart. However, if it's a nice clean blood flow, then it's absolutely fine. So I'm showing you a healthy and an unhealthy version. So you can see the comparison. Imagine you are driving, okay, in the road, on the road, you're driving on the road and you're going somewhere and the road is clear. It's easy to travel, isn't it? However, imagine that road was full of snow. It'd be difficult to get past. And that's what happens to your blood. It struggles to get to your heart or to its destination. So this is why stents are used. Stents essentially create more room for blood to flow. Stents are fitted with a mesh and a balloon which inflate, pushing away the fat plaques to the side, allow more glucose and oxygen to get to your heart by making the coronary bigger. These are like them snow trucks that come and they push the snow to the side so your car can get past quite easily. That's basically what stent is doing, is creating more room for blood to flow. So hopefully, if you ever ask the question on how stents work, list these three ideas or these three answers down in order to answer the question. Pause the video, see if you can answer this five mark GCSE style biology question that was set in an exam. Okay.